Welcome to my channel, Pretty Inspired Decor. My name is Shelly and welcome to our 2020 Love is in the Air Valentine video. This is a mini video and I hope you enjoy it and we'll start from the best vantage point in our home for seeing this mini tour and that is peeking upstairs over the balcony. You know, when we first built this house, I. I just, I just can't tell you how much I looked forward to decorating it and looking at it over this balcony. It's, uh, it gives a real neat vantage point into the, really the main living area of our house. And when we decorate for the seasons, this is where I come and have a peek. I decided to use my blooming candlesticks in our living room. I mean, they, they work beautifully for every single season over on the side table. Of course, I just think it looks so cute with that little lantern and that particular funky bow. And I'll make a link to that. Um, I created last year for Valentine's and I still really enjoy it. So I just pulled it out again. On top of the armoire, which is one of my favorite places to decorate, I have added some florals. You'll notice at the back of the armoire, there's a heart-shaped floral container. It's made out of metal and there's some moss that I put around it and just filled it with faux flowers. You know, the colors that I, of my home, the pinks, the greens, the creams, I absolutely adore them. You'll notice I've added another one of the hearts that I made. and just pop that in there. You'll also notice that I've kept the angels out that I had for Christmas. I've added one to the top of the armoire. You know, it's all gonna work for all year. Why not? They're just pretty, they work with my decor, and they're very difficult to store because they are so large. Over on the side table, I've just added that little wagon that I always have those florals in, added some hearts, and of course, our little love signs. One sure. is it? And the other one is just a little sign, just a little nod to Valentine's Day in that corner with some pretty florals. Of course, you know how much I love decorating our fireplace and really swagging some garland on. I've used the same florals that I used last spring and, and you know, through Easter. I love those roses. You can get them again at Michael's this year in the cream. And the pink isn't quite the same. It's more of a muddy pink, but I mean, they're still so, so pretty. If you take a look uh, on the side of the fireplace, you'll notice I have a lantern that I actually used for Christmas upstairs in our piano room. I just thought, you know, it's winter here in Canada. There's no reason why I can't keep that out. Just thought it was pretty, I enjoyed it. Little church inside, how romantic is that? And then just added that little homemade heart on the top of it. On the top of the fireplace, I love those lanterns and I use those lanterns, you know, for every season. I don't always necessarily have them in our living room, but again, kept them, at, kept the same florals I had at Christmas in them. If you take a look beside the lanterns, there's another one of those little boxes. Remember I said I probably will do something with it. In fact, as soon as I was done creating that video that day, I had some time, it was a snowy day, and I decided that that would be really pretty there. And so that's the taller, slimmer box just popped in there. Down the fireplace, again, you'll notice the angel I have kept up. You may be wondering what is in the little trellis. Those are actually little wedding photo props that I bought on clearance at Pier 1 and I just pop them in the trellises on each side. And really, you know, Valentine's Day, you, some might consider it to be one of the best days ever because it is such a romantic time of the year. But when I saw them, I thought, you know, they're my pinks, they're my golds, they're my greens, and why wouldn't I add them somewhere in my home? If you're wondering what I did with the other refurbished or repurposed box that we made just a, just a, a, a little over a week ago I guess that's what I did with that one and I just love it sitting right beside my chair 
and right beside a picture of my little beloved Tennyson. My coffee table is actually quite simply decorated for me. The other day I was watching a show in Canada called City Line and it said that maximalism is coming back in fashion and I laughed aloud because in my world maximalism has always been in fashion and you'll notice I could leave that if I wanted for summer. It's just so simply pretty and elegant. That particular wreath is a really simple DIY. I bought the wreath form at Pier 1 and simply added some florals from HomeSense in Canada and Michael's. In our kitchen, I know you'll get a kick out of the two mugs I actually just bought on the weekend. The one mug says queen of everything and the other one says king of what's left. And of course, that's my husband's last name. And I mean, really, we both laughed when I brought them home. They actually, you know, as he would say, are perfect for our home. Above the stove, I have added a lantern and the pineapple that I know you saw last summer, but I just think it's so pretty. Fits into the color scheme with just a really simple love sign. It was a DIY from Michael's that I created last year, like super, super simple. Now in our favorite uh, room of the house, <laughs> at least for decorating that is, and that is the little tiny dining room that we have. And, just love that particular china cabinet and it's always fun to put fun things you know on it including the garland if you take a look at there's a love one another sign up in the corner i bought that that was actually part of michael's fall collection and in canada it was over 50 dollars and when fall was over i walked into michael's and they had a sale bin and i got it for four dollars and i thought perfect for valentine's day Four dollars. How great was that? Our dining room table, I've kept that again simple for me with my creams and golds and my pinks, my soft, soft pinks. The whole room just looks soft and pretty and romantic and really fits in with the theme that I wanted this year. Really plan to decorate in pinks and golds and creams in really our whole home and, and, and it worked in here as well. So we're back to where we started our 2020 Valentine series back in our kitchen window. It's, it's, it's such a fun place to decorate. And so I thought you have, could have another little tiny peek at it. Until we see each other next week where I ha will have our table all set for Valentine's Day and I hope you come back to take a peek at that. You're going to see some new dishes that my husband bought me for Christmas, believe it or not. Not a whole set or anything, but some really pretty accent dishes that I thought would be perfect for Valentine's Day, even though they're not meant to be for Valentine's Day, but they'll work. So until we see each other next time, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Click that little bell so you get notification of future videos. And until we see each other again next week, bye-bye.